I welcome the change. It is notable that the amendments are mainly for the purpose of streamlining and standardizing the corporate governance provision across the various stat boards. The requirement for accountability and clear responsibility would support the greater whole of government approach. Along with the Smart Nation Drive, citizens should have a single platform access to relevant information on government policies. The changes to the bill also signal the timely need to have better data control for more efficient and effective processes. On corporate governance, generally the public has high regard of the Singapore Public Service. It is well known for its efficiency in terms of its rules, practices and processes. However, at times, government agencies run into excessive bureaucracy when working with one another. Therefore, it is important for a public service to keep up to date on their rules, practices and processes to continuously uphold public trust and confidence. Secondly, as a nation drives productivity and innovation among private sectors, it is equally imperative for the public sector to take lead in productivity and innovation. Some of the practices and processes could be irrelevant in current contexts and with digital economy as a future, public sector should embrace digitalization wherever possible and reflect them in their practices and processes. On data governance, we often hear the word big data as we move towards digital economy. Data collected can be used to make more informed decisions and formulate policies more effectively. It is important to protect this data as it can be subjected to misuse. There should be a clear guidelines on which data can be shared and which data cannot be shared among public sector institutions, for instance, healthcare. There should also be a mechanism in place with adequate safeguards where public sector and private sector are able to share relevant data to benefit Singaporeans and Singapore as a whole. Financial governance is related to corporate governance and it is extremely pertinent to have proper management of financial resources. There should be clarity on who is responsible and accountable for what matters. Statutory boards should work closely with their respective ministries to implement government policies and deliver public services effectively so that public confidence is further strengthened. In addition, there should be a strategic resource plan accompanied with the annual budget to deter unreasonable and excessive spending. There should also be rigorous financial reporting in compliance with Auditor General. In conclusion, though I support these changes, we need to be mindful there should be a balance between standardizing practices and allowing a supportive and nurturing environment for innovation and creativity to evolve. There must also be a fine balance between rigidity and flexibility, as well as simplicity to minimize bureaucracy. Sir, notwithstanding this, I support the bill.